Hi everybody, Mike here from Hebden Photography, back once again with a super quick tutorial on how to remove light stands or soft boxes from an image. Every once in a while you come up with an image that you want to use, but you got to figure out a way to get the um, soft boxes or any other sort of thing out of it that you that you happen to have. Um, I mean, there's a couple of options. I can go grab my crop tool and uh, and. You know, try to work around the soft boxes. And then I'm, you know, I've really, I'm really changing the picture here. And now I'm going to come up with a very narrow area, and I don't want that. Or if you didn't want that, if you wanted to get rid of the soft boxes themselves, here's how we can do that. Um, it's a pretty popular technique to duplicate your image. Uh, you can grab that layer here drop it down to the new layer icon now we have a new layer okay with my marquee tool selected that's this one if I hold uh, the click that and hold it I can go select whichever one and I want a rectangular marquee tool what I'm going to do is select as much of this photo as I can without without touching our subject so I'm going to come right up close to our model, all the way bottom to top, top to bottom, and all the way to the outside of the picture. Here it is. This is it. CS6, absolute magic. Up into edit, content aware scale. Grab this little handle here and pull your softbox out of the picture. Just pull it out. That's it. It's done. I'm going to do it again on this side. Again, I don't want to get any of the model in there. All the way from the bottom to the top. Edit, content aware scale, and drag it out. It's gone. But Mike, what about the chandelier that looks all messed up? Guess what? That works there too. There we go. I've selected the top. Hit it. Content aware scale. And drag that chandelier right up and out. We're done. That's that. As easy as that. Didn't take any time at all. Here we go. Went from that to that in a matter of seconds. Thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.